it's the end of May and I still haven't gone to Trader Joe's yet. So that's where I am on my way to now. I'm hoping that there are some new products to try. So come along on my adventure, shall you? I just got pixie pie, pixie dusted. <laughs> All right, I'm about to try one of these Dragon Balls. Oh, oh look at this, she is good! Okay, I am here in the parking lot and it looks like they still have the tents up. But here in Florida, we are in phase two, which means that more people are now allowed in the store. I choose to wear a mask, it is optional in some places. A lot of the stores are not making you wear them. Now, when we start traveling again, um, which is going to be for sure in July right now, where I'm going to be going on a plane, the airlines are, rec are, are not recommending, they're making you wear a mask. And so I will be wearing a mask in the store. So off I go. Well, this should last me for a month. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out and then you guys will see what I got. I'm back home. I'm going to quickly show you what I got. I'm going to start off with the frozen items because they have to go into the freezer. I found a lot of new items, so let's get started. Got some flowers, these were $3.99, so I bought those. My anniversary is next week, so I bought my husband roses. Really for me too, but you know. Okay, most of the stuff is in my cooler bag, but I couldn't fit all of it. So the drumstick, drum, chicken tremolas, which I get all the time, I love those. I got the chicken tiki masala, always get that. I decided I was in the mood for French onion soup again, so I bought a carton of those. This is new, I have never had this before. This is the gluten-free mac and cheese, so I thought I would serve this as a side dish one night. Right a lot. I bought, these I've never tried. This is the gnocchi sorrentino. Last time I had a different type of gnocchi where the sauce was inside and it was okay. This comes with the sauce, so I'm, I'm gonna serve this as a side dish. Philly cheese steak bao buns are for my stepson and my husband, not for me. But this is a new item. I don't think I've ever had the chimichurri rice, so trying this. Lots of new things this trip. I love these for a quick breakfast. These are the egg frittatas made with cauliflower. Broccoli florets, I always get those. The JoJo's ice cream is really good. I got that and it's only 100 calories and two grams of fat per serving. I don't eat the whole thing in one sitting. The quinoa is amazing if you've never tried it, as well as the Mexican corn, the old standby butter chicken, it's fabulous. The chicken burrito bowl, also a great lunch. This time I found the vegetable Samoas and the chicken ones. This is super spicy, but I still love it. Vegetable burrini, if that's the way you say it. Turkey meatballs, love these. I got two cartons of the veggie burgers because we eat them a lot here, at least me and my stepson do. And that is going to do it for the frozen items. Once I put these in the freezer, I'll be back with the rest. Peanut and Crispy noodle salad kit, this is amazing. If you've never tried the Mediterranean style salad kit, that's great too. I got the uh, the black raspberry yogurt. This is great with a little bit of uh, chocolate chips in it as a dessert. I've got some fire roasted red peppers. I've never had this before. This is the organic three grain tempa, but I've, I've never had it from Trader Joe's, but I've had it before. So I'm going to look up a recipe, see what I can make with it. The shredded Swiss and Gruyere for the French onion soup I got, but this is also great on other things. Also their four cheese Italian is great. I got two boxes of the Berry Gone Crazy because it's amazingly yummy. I'm going to try the tapas sampler cheeses. My standby almond milk. I always get Mexican corn when I'm there. Actually, this is roasted corn. Got some caramelized onion dip, roasted red pepper hummus. They were out of my spicy peanut butter dressing, so I decided to try this instead. Champagne pear vinaigrette. I like champagne, I like pear. And try it. Next up, we have my standby lemonade. Cornbread mix, because I want to make the savory one this time. I have the Madras lentils. These are really good, feel like Indian food. Peanut butter, the almond butter. I tried these last time and this is really good. The spaghetti with quinoa. These are 60 calories for two pieces and it's upside down. It is dark chocolate caramel wedges, so that looks yummy. I got coconut cream. I also have a recipe that I make with vodka uh, and some macadamia nut liqueur. That's a great uh, drink. It's called a uh, chichi. The turkey chili is great for a quick meal. And look at what I'm gonna try, the organic watermelon fruit spread. They had a whole section that you saw of watermelon stuff. So I decided to try this. Next up, another new item. This was on an end cap. This is an almond flour chocolate chip cookie mix. 
So I'm gonna have to make some of this and tell you how it is. The wine that the lady that I met in the store last time introduced me to is really good. So I got another one, the Coco Bon, that is roasted in oak. It's got that oaky lira. Another new item that I don't think I've ever seen, the reduced gilt potato chips, which will go with the dip. I decided to try roasted red pepper spread. Not sure what I'm gonna use it in yet, maybe with chicken. I also got some bruschetta because this stuff is amazing. Great in omelets, great on the uh, the toast that I just bought. And the last bag is a lot of snacky stuff. I have no idea what this is, <laughs> but, oh, seasoned popcorn. It sounds really interesting, so I decided to try it. I always get the quinoa and black tortilla chips. The I haven't had these in forever. These are the corn chip dippers, and it says it's Mexican street style. So if you guys saw the video, I will post it above of the one that I tried from Aldi and how I couldn't handle it. I thought, you know, I'm gonna get one that isn't spicy. So that's what this is. I'm also trying out a new gluten-free bread this time, an Italian bread. There are the brioche toast I just told you about and the pita chips that are reduced guilt. These are very good. That is my haul. Wait, hold the phone. There's one item that I missed and I'm just gonna try it since I have you back here anyway. So this is what I found. Also that I have never tried this ketchup flavored Spud Crunchy. So we're just gonna open it up right now and see what it tastes like. All right, it looks like a French fry. It tastes like a French fry. Oh my God. Okay, these are really good. I highly suggest these. Mm, well, I could live on snacks. That is really good. Mm. While we're at it, and we're snacking, I just ate dinner. Let's try this crazy looking popcorn. It says it has like four different flavors in it. It just all looks like this. So I thought maybe like each piece was gonna be different, but maybe it's just all on one. It's all on one. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Um, whoo, note to self, you can actually try things at Trader Joe's before you buy them to see if you like them. And then if you don't, you don't have to buy it. I should have done that with this. Okay, for me, a little too spicy, along a little too tangy. So if you like tangy and spicy, you're gonna like these. I'm gonna go give these to my boys because they will eat them. So the tangy part, I definitely taste I can taste the salt, smoky, a little bit of smoky, spicy, yes. So if it was just salty and smoky, it would've been great, but then you add the tangy and the spicy, I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, putting these back. <laughs> Personally, I don't like those, but whew. All right, the other one I'm gonna try real quick is the watermelon fig spread. It's watermelon fruit spread, not fig spread. Oh, it smells like watermelon. All right, let me go get a knife. I just want to taste it by itself. So I'm just going to take a little bit. It's really good. It tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's what it tastes like. So this is going to be yummy on a piece of toast with some eggs in the morning. Yeah, I like that. This is all in season right now. They have all their watermelon stuff. This the watermelon cooler, everything that you saw on that end cap display. Last but not least, Girl loves some chocolate. So these are the dark chocolate caramel wedges. 70% chocolate. It's cute, little squares. I'm going to bite into one and see what happens. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. I'm gonna save the rest for later, but wow. That's really good. And the good part, nobody else in the house likes dark chocolate but me. So this is all mine. All right, now, thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you on my next adventure. Travel is coming up soon. Bye.